Okay. I'm a little loath to do this, but... Hey! If I got as far as I did before, I can do it again. Yes, I'm serious. Yes, are you- Yes. Not kidding around, yes. Final warning, go. Alright, begin. Wild forests and uncharted lands were no match for Isla and Falafel. Their friendship made every day one where strange things became familiar. Until one day when Falafel ran into a mysterious tower deep within the forest. It looks like Galactus. Unable to stop him, Isla followed in, and her surroundings were transformed from natural to aggressively artificial. And spiky. With no sight of Falafel, Isla picked up a key, and that alone was enough to bring the tower to some kind of life. Used to forests and ancient ruins, Isla found herself surrounded by robots, traps, and a sense of being watched? Hang on tight, Falafel. Isla's biggest adventure yet is about to begin. Oh, so were there games, like, before featuring these two? I wouldn't know. But yeah, we're off to save our dog. Hello there. Welcome, visitor friend. The pangs of the heart move you. Correct, but how do you know that? But first... Learning. The goal is always reach the exit. Go, visitor, friend. Okay, now I can move. So let's pick up this gem. Gems, a sign of completion. Oh. And that great collapse when I stood on it. Block. I like to move blocks around the board. They can also be used to fill in water holes so they can be crossed or to stall and deter enemies. Visitor friend, flawless victor. Okay, well the only way to go is down. Next, let's pick this gem up. Then let's pick this gem up. And then let's push this north and get out of here. Boom. Key lock. Key lock... Keys open, passages blocked by lock types of the same color. Oh, lock tiles of the same color. Finding a key is often not just about being at the right place, but also at the right time. Okay, so let's grab this gem. So the question is, will pushing this block automatically make it collapse, make the great below it collapse automatically? I guess we'll find out. Nope, we're good. I got that. I got this. More gems. Okay. Guess we're doing this now. Okay, we made it. Up we go. Devilbot. Like a demon possessed, Devilbot will rush towards Isla, moving two squares per turn. First horizontally, then vertically. Steer clear of its trigger, happy taser. Yeah, so we gotta be careful with this fella. We're gonna go to the left. Because I want to get it locked behind this wall here. And then we grab this gem. Then we head over and head up to lock it behind there. Now we grab the third gem. Back in we go. Spikes! Spikes are activated if someone stands on their tip and then walks off. Anyone else who stands on that tile afterwards is doomed. Sounds like a plan. And we got two devil robots. Alright, so let's grab this gem. 
You're gonna move horizontally first so you get stuck, and I can get into position here. Hop off, you hop on, boom. So now to get the other gem. Okay, so if I move left, this guy will move left and up, and then I can move left again and he'll go horizontal again. Like this, yes. Because these guys always prioritize horizontal motion over vertical motion. Who's this? Oh, hello. You're from the title screen. Another one. Another one?! Oh wow, oh wow. Oh wow, oh wow, oh ah! Wait. You're not as fluffy as the last one. Oh, so you saw Falafel. Ahem. Official sounding throat clear. Misfortune is upon you today, purple-haired one. For you have ventured unto the laboratory of... Well, not mine, anyway. That whole committee was rigged, I swear! A four-year research project into developing a perfectly silent set of silly strings for puppet panic members such as myself is a perfectly good, very sensible thesis topic. Ahem. <clears throat> as I was saying... Do you think that just anyone can waltz in here? Does this look like a ballroom to you? Do I look like your dance instructor? Are my feet located in a pair of ballet slippers? Can you believe it's not butter? Maybe. Nah. First line of defense, kid. And probably your last. Zap Trap. Zap Traps alternate between open and closed states each turn. They can be crossed safely when closed, and will zap you when open. Okay. And we got two Devil Robots. Both of them are stuck right now. But if I grab that key, they'll open up. So let's grab this gem first. I, uh, I didn't see anything. I'll grab this one, too. That, that's stealing! Okay. So I think if I put this here... Hmm. So the issue is that I need to grab the key... So, I need to push this block into here. I also need the key, though. Hmm. Let's just see what'll happen first. So, I grab this, and everything opens. Okay, so now I'm just dead. You're not even trying! Well, I am trying, I just gotta think a bit. Okay, so I think we can lock the robot on the left to where the key is, basically. But the issue is we have to deal with the other one on the right. And I'm trying to think of how to do that. Hmm. I can't push this block up, and even if I could, I wouldn't be able to get it back over. Hmm. So I think we need to get one of the robots to fall into here. But how do I make that happen is the question. Well, either that or I have to use the zappy trap, but how am I going to get you to go down? I can't get any of these robots to go down, though. That's the issue. Unless I do this... But then you'll just come kill me. So that doesn't work. 
This outcome doesn't shock me at all. I'm sure it doesn't. Nonetheless, I gotta figure this out. Put it back! Red knot. What happens if I just trigger this preemptively? And then do this. Okay, move down. Move this way. Okay, that was a mistake. Okay, well, that, that was a mistake. Are you even paying attention? You know, on that try, I kind of wasn't. I will... I've been stealing another mad scientist's gems? That's just low. I'm not that bad, am I? Am I? Hey, put that back! So let's try this again. Alright, so they're gonna move that much. So if I move this way, then back this way. Hmm. Well, that's a problem. What I'm thinking is I can lock the second robot right there, and then it won't be able to do anything, but how do I deal with the first one? That's the problem I'm having right now. Hmm. That's just harsh! What is restarting? Well then, at least don't play the victim. As long as my dog's okay, I'm not the victim. I won't deny that. Actually, here's a thought. Let's grab this. You know, the problem is that I can't... If I walk down, he'll just zap me immediately. That's gotta hurt! How does... how do you... how are we gonna deal with this? Maybe we block this? Then we gra then we free everyone. You're gonna move... Oh, I see. Okay, I think I see what I gotta do. I think I see what I gotta do. Another prodigious labyrinth. Okay, but I think I figured this out. So, we are gonna move this here. We're gonna activate this early. Then grab the key. Yep, and then you're gonna come right on over here. And I'm gonna go here, and you're gonna go down here. And now you're stuck. Then to deal with the other fellow, over here... Okay, is there like a way I can finagle this? Ha! Boom! Don't you know how much these things cost? I don't know, actually. I will question why you have so many of them. There we go. Unbelievable! You'll have to excuse me. It looks like I've forgotten to introduce myself. My name's Anton, and... It feels like I've been here a million years! Not cut out for reliability, they said. 
I'm stuck here on the underground levels. Designing brilliant mazes and laying traps for squirrels and chipmunks. While that wine pairing monocle wearing snob, the prim and pretty cute little kitty, and the knife swiping bike riding punk take three whole floors. Sheer utter favoritism. You know how hard it is to plan traps for chipmunks? I haven't thought of it, I must admit. Hmm. <clears throat> well, ahem. It's an underrated skill, you see. Be that as it may, if you want to sneak in here, you'll have to first face the puppet panics. That's... that's us. Me first. I've been defeated by our ingenious puzzles! That's... the maze you've just escaped. Unscathed. Without as much as a scratch. But alas, you are far from through! With I, the great Anton! Brilliant, precocious, glistening, lustrous! A dazzling, luminous intellect! Your beginner's luck will soon fade! Fade dark, darker, yet darker! Drowned out by the sheer glow of my formidable labyrinths. I actually vaguely remember this one. Let's see. Unfortunately, I don't have any way to kill these guys now. Yeah, I think I go here. And then I go this way, and that locks him in there, and then the other one is down below. So now I can go this way. Head over here and grab the gem. That's that's stealing. Now the question is, how do I get out of here? Because the problem is, if I just go hard left, like across the middle, the top robot will get free and then obliterate me. So I have to go around the bottom. The problem with that is. The robot down there. Hmm. Yeah, so if I just go right, then he'll come out to then he'll come out and then obliterate me next turn, so that's not an option. And if I go down. It's the same. He just comes and obliterates me. This outcome doesn't shock me at all. Okay, so let's try this again. Boom, boom. Okay. Oh, actually, I have a thought. What if I go up to the top and get the bottom robot maybe over here? It's okay, Anton. She won't get much further. Well, we'll see about that. Yeah. That gives me the luxury of going around here. And how does that help me? That's how it helps me, it gets him locked there. And then when I go to the right, he'll get locked in the corner to the right. I think I got this. Yeah, because you're going to go there, you'll get stuck. Then I just need to book it across and hope that the right robot gets stuck in that corner there. Come on, come on. Okay, saved it. Yes! Boom! Unbelievable! Bugbot. Slow but determined. Bugbot will walk towards Isla one square per turn, attempting first horizontally, then vertically. Watch for their hammer. So it's basically just a weaker version of the devil bot. Got it. So, how do I want to do this? I think if I walk up first, Devilbot's taken care of for now, and Bugbot's up there, also not doing much. If I then go this way, and down? 
Yeah, okay. Thought he was gonna come after me. Okay. Oh, if I backtrack, Devil Robot goes here, which is good. So he's now stuck. If I go up, Bugbot is then stuck there. Uh, I uh, didn't see anything. Sure, sure. So, I could just gun it for the exit. But I do want to try to grab that floppy disk. I'm going for it. What do you have to say? Nothing. Okay, now the problem is how do I deal with Devil Bot? think I can lock him right back here again. Yes! Perfect. So now where's the route that gets me there in the shortest amount of steps? I think it's both the same left or right, so let's just go for it. Yep, you're gonna get next to me, but I'm out of here. What?! That's gotta hurt! Seriously, that doesn't count? Really? That's a pile of nonsense. Where am I supposed to secure the devil robot? Oh, shoot, I forgot. That's just harsh, yeah, I forgot to lock the bug bot away. Hmm. Okay, well, let's try this again. Okay, so backtrack to get the devil robot in there. Hop up, get the bug bot locked away. Okay. Uh, so, I can get the safety... I can get the floppy disk easy. And then if I go back over here, how can I deal with Devil Robot? Maybe... No, that doesn't work. Oh, but maybe I can get him locked here. I see. No, that won't work, because then he'll come out again. Nope, that doesn't work. That did not work, because then Bugbot's free. Yeah, because you're just going to zap me now. That's gotta hurt. It does hurt. Nonetheless, I gotta figure this out. Okay, you go back, you're locked. I go up. I grab this. Okay, let's try this again. Yep. Okay, so how am I gonna deal with Devil Bot? Where can where can I put him? I can put him where he was before, but then he'll just come kill me. So hmm. I think I have to put him where he was before. Yeah. <sighs> but then this isn't gonna work, as we saw. One, two, one, two, he zaps me. But where else can I put him? 
If I put him up top, he's actually one he's actually a few squares closer. Well, one square closer to where I am at the bottom. One, two, one, two. That worked this time. A broken clock is right twice a day, Anton. A broken brain, too, apparently, because I'm surprised I won that. Okay, so it's just one devil bot. And we got two gems, and that's it. No other obstacles. So if I go left, I just die immediately, so... Oh, wait, we got a cutscene. Now look what you've done! Uh, yeah. Hold on! Uh, basement. Anton speaking. As always, fantastic puzzles. Fantastic! Yes, Doctor. I'm so glad to hear it. Wow, swell. That does sound like a great deal indeed, sir. She, uh, does have an eye for fashion. No, uh, I mean, yes, sir, but no need. Anton's got it under control. You look so panicked. Sandals. He got a good deal on a pair of Crocs! That's impressive? And even I know better than to criticize... Janine's, uh, fashion sense. Who's Janine? Guess we'll meet her later. You think I'm off my rocker? Oh ho ho, you poor sweet summer child. Anyway, at least he wasn't asking about you. Okay, so now puzzle starts. Let's try... Well, like I was saying earlier, if I go left, I die, so let's try going right. This at least allows me to move. Now the question is, what do I do with you? So I got all these walls I gotta use to lure the robot around. I think... Okay, so if I go down again... He'll go down... Okay, so now he's stuck there. I can go up here. So maybe I can go this way? And get... And then while you get stuck in that corner, I'll grab this gem. Then, hmm. What's the play from here? Because I can go around this way, no problem. But then I can't get the other gem or get to the exit because he'll punt me down as I go down. I could try maybe luring him up to the roof section here and try to get him stuck on that. But then if I come around, I think he'll get me. I don't really see any other options right now, so let's see what happens. Right. Yeah. So if I move left, he'll use his to he'll use his second move to to axe me. And if I go down, yeah, he's got me. As expected from my luminous intellect. Yes, yes, you're very... You have some de you have some solid puzzles, Anton. Let me think here. So I can't go for the left gem right now because he'll just off me if I go there. And if I go down, and I don't trap him in that corner, he'll get me there. Hmm. So what can I do? I think I have to put him here. Yeah, then no matter what I do... He'll go up this way. 
And then logically, the, the spot to put him is in the corner where I just put him before. I can't send him to the right at all. Even though I'd like to. Yep, I just stole the gem. Hmm. So what can I do from here? Because I can go back this way, but he'll follow me down. If I go down again, he'll perish. If I go here and go down, he'll get through the first wall, then when I go back up, he'll get me. So that doesn't fly. Hmm. If I just go right, he'll come out and zap me on my next move. Yeah, so I, the only option I see is putting him here. But then I can't go left. If I go right, and then I go down, he zaps me. So I'm missing something here, but what? Yeah, and then I just... boom. Run some bolts through those bolts! I don't have bolts, though, I'm a human. Hmm. If I go left, then I'll then he'll be right under me and he'll just pin me, so that's out of the question. Yeah, so that means the only way to, to let him out is here. It doesn't matter which direction I go. Actually, if I try going... I don't think this will work, but I just want to see what happens. If I go down... He doesn't do anything because that doesn't get him one space closer. He'll still be three spaces away, I think is the logic there. Either that or he can't grab collectibles. Yeah, so where else am I supposed to send? Am I supposed to go? Oh, maybe I send him this way. Oh ho! Okay, so now you're stuck there, so let's just think this through. What'll happen when I go down? Okay, I went down before I thought about it. So he'll get s So he'll end up back where he was before. Which still stops me from getting to the exit and the other jam. I need something to lock him somewhere. Wait. I think I might have it. Maybe. Then this way. Then this way. Okay, now he's locked there. Until I cross the line. And even after I cross the line, he'll get locked behind the walls. Okay, then I bring you here, go left. There we go! Yes! Arrow tiles. Arrow tiles can be entered from only one direction and exited from any direction, except the one used to enter them. I see. Unbelievable! Okay, so I guess we're still moving now. Okay, so we got two robots. One uh, devil robot is locked. The bug bot is active. There's only one direction I can move. Again. Okay, so what's the plan with Bugbot? 
if I just go back and forth, he'll just go back and forth. Hmm. I have a I have an idea. We go up, he goes down, we go up, he goes down, I move across, he moves across, I move up, he can't, and he sinks. That trap was meant for you! Well, it was conveniently placed for him. I must say. Okay, so it looks like we need the silver key to get the gold key to get the gold door tile out of the way so I can use a block to get to the exit. But that means I need to have a plan for Devil Bot right as soon as he comes out. What is that plan going to be? I think... So let me think this through here. If I grab that key, he's gonna come out and to the left. So if I use this... Block, we can maybe do something. If I move this to the left, he won't be able to come straight at me, because there'll be a wall in his way. But he'll still come maybe one extra down? Well, I want to try this. Okay, grab the key. Yep. I grab the gem. Yeah, so he won't willingly obliterate himself. Oh, wait. If I use... Okay, if I use the block below me to block the corridor down below, I can then lead him around to basically enter the arrow and then get stuck. I think that's what I need to do. Zap! Smash! Get her out! Maybe, but I think I got you figured out now. So first, let's deal with the bug bot. Stop blowing up my robots! Stop setting them up to be blown up. Yeah, so let's move this here. And then this time, before I grab the key, let's move you here. Okay. So hop, let's so open this. Head down. Head down. Yes. Now I just have to not step on there myself. And then I lure you onto here, and now he can't exit. He's stuck. So now I can grab this. Devil Bot's gonna slow me down a bunch, but that's okay. We just gotta carefully push this block here. Don't step on the tile next to the Devil Robot. Activate this. Out we go! Oh. Okay, okay. Do you even know whose puzzles you mock? I'm not mocking them, but yours, I guess. Do you even know who you're dealing with? Spectacular! Splendiferous! Resplendent! Magnificent! Superlative! Perspicacious! Sagacious! Ingenious! That's me! That's Anton! And you're not going to convince me that someone as smart as me it's going to have to first deal with a tiny little fuzzy, fuzz, fluffy little furball somehow making short work of his canny puzzles. Falafel solved the puzzles. Only to be followed by a uh, purple haired clown shoe dump a dawning weirdo as the second act. 
Ah. Perhaps you are not familiar with my body of work. Well, allow me to enlighten you, peon! Anton P001. The very first successful puppet panic. So, you're the prototype. As you can clearly see, here are my certificates. Great at being a puppet, especially great at panicking. I can confirm. A highly marketable skill set. Imagine for a moment, if you will. You are a chef who is also a ventriloquist. That's a fun job set. How else will you mix those ingredients and amuse guests? With one single instrument. And now that you're here, I'll catch an intruder and earn the recognition that I perfectly profoundly deserve. Oh, Anton, they'll all exclaim. Truly as splendiferous as it says on the box. Did you come in a box? Well, anyway. So what have we here? We have a trap devil bot and a devil bot coming to get me. And I have only so many turns to protect myself. Hmm. Can I push this? Yes! Hey, watch it! Okay, so I think that takes care of that. But now I have to get another box into there to get that key. So I think activating gold is the first step. I can walk on the stairs, yes. So, hmm. So ideally... Okay, so as soon as I grab that silver key, he's gonna come out. If I push the block I'm holding down, that would stop him from coming up, but then I'd still have to worry about him when I come down. That's the issue there. Hmm. I can't push the block to the side without stepping on this. Let's see, so if I step out here, the bot will move right and up. Then it would move left one, then left and up. Will that take it out? Let's see. I want to see if, that, if I can just take him out right here. Nope. Activates afterwards. Another victim of my befuddling designs. For the moment, perhaps. Okay, so boxes go before it moves, but traps activate afterwards. Hmm. So... For my next move... What am I gonna do? I gotta, we gotta plan this out as the issue. If I push this block up, I won't be able to push it back down again, so that's pointless. Hmm. If 
Ooh, wait, I have an idea. I have an idea. So let's grab this. This time we'll head around this way. So if I head down, you'll follow me, then I step off and you blow up. Yeah! Now let's grab this. He's shocked again. I don't know what these do. I know this'll... Wait, am I doomed now? Let's keep going, let's keep going. Okay, so that's why I couldn't use the spikes earlier. Now I go across them to here. Push you down. Go all the way around. Now we push this over. Get the key, get the gem, get out of here. Oh, and I've been walking to a wall. There we go. Okay, can you stop? Turrets. Turrets rotate 90 degrees clockwise once per turn. Any moving creature caught in their line of sight is toast. I'm hoping that also means the robots. Okay. So I see where they're pointing. They rotate... Do I have to grab that key, the green key? Is there a reason I have to? I don't think so. Put it back! No. And the other question is, how am I going to deal with the bug bot? Let's just test it. This is out, this is out, this is out. Then I step up, and you get zapped. There we go. Then I go up. Yeah, but now I'm gonna get zapped no matter what. So let's restart. As my upstairs neighbor would say, uh, magnifique! So I need to figure out how to deal with the bug bot without triggering that spike trap, because I need to use it. Oh. Trying to see if this changes anything. One, two, three, four... No, I just get zapped immediately. Heck of a targeting mechanism, eh? I guess so. Maybe... No, that doesn't work. Oh! Okay, so the turrets move before the robots do. Okay. That's how that works. So now we do this like before. Hey, I just oiled that one. God, I gotta move so very carefully here. Okay, we're good there. No, we're not. Put it. Okay, so let's just take a quick breather here. Now that I made it to the top of the room, let's see what I actually want to do. 
So we got a floppy disk, we've got a gem and a key. I think we want all of them. The floppy disk has to be entered from the right. Meaning I want to get this block to the bottom. The only way I, where I can move the block is left at first, so I need to bring it left, then down, and then left. But first, let's not get zapped by this tarp below me, so sidestep, back over, up, push. Okay, and then the one below me will face downward, so I can push again. One more time. I push down. I push down. Here we go. Now I grab this. I grab the silver key. I grab the other gem. And then I get out of here. Oh, I almost killed myself. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and go.